Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Welsh, 19th president of the International Chiropractors Association. Welcome to the very first edition of the new ICA Daily News Update. Given the amount of disinformation circulating on social media and the internet, the ICA is committed to bringing to you the latest accurate information as we all adjust to the necessary changes in our daily lives as we deal with the worldwide pandemic. Let me begin with a brief video message from our president. I want the American people to know that your selfless, inspiring, and valiant efforts are saving countless lives. You are making the difference. The modeling estimates that the peak in death rate is likely to hit in two weeks. Therefore, the next two weeks and during this period, it's very important that everyone strongly follow the guidelines. The better you do, the faster this whole nightmare will end. Therefore, we will be extending our guidelines to April 30th to slow the spread. I would like to share some very welcome news with the chiropractors in the United States so that you are prepared to take advantage of a brand new program unlike any that I have seen in my lifetime. I'm talking about a program included in the CARES Act just passed on Friday. Okay, it's known as HR 748. And the important part I wanna discuss is uh, the section under Title I, Section 1102, called the Paycheck Protection Program, which is part of the Keeping America, American Workers Paid and Employed Under Section 1102, participation in this program is going to be during a covered period beginning February 15th and ending on June 30th. Okay, but in order to maximize that eight week period, you're actually going to have to start your loan process uh, and begin and have it approved no later than April 30th. All right, the maximum amount that you're actually going to be able to get a loan for is going to be determined by your average monthly payments on your payroll, including 1099 employees if you have independent contractors during the past year prior to when the loan is made. And that average payroll amount is going to be multiplied by two and a half times to determine how much you can, can borrow. The allowable use of the covered loans during the covered period is going to be for payroll costs, employee salaries, commissions, payment of interest on a mortgage if you own your building, or the rent if it's included in a lease agreement, as well as your utilities, as well as interest on any of your business's debt obligations that were incurred prior to the beginning of the period. Alrighty, and what that means basically is you're going to be able to go down to your bank already and you're going to be able to bring in your records of what your average payroll expenses have been for the past year. And then you're going to ask your banker to give you a loan and the loan is going to be uh, turned over very quickly that you can use primarily to support keeping you and your staff employed for eight weeks. Now, let me give a little bit more information on why I, I, I feel this is such an exciting opportunity for so many chiropractors. Alrighty, what they're doing is they're delegating the authority to decide who gets the loan to the bank. Instead of having to fill out a pound of paper and submit it to the SBA uh, as you would normally do, okay, in order to get an SBA loan, all you have to do is bring in that information to your bank and they should be able to make that approval if you are qualified. The interest rate, which is gonna have a maximum of 4%, is going to be deferred for at least six months and up to a year. As long as you use that, as long as you, but you can only use those funds for the purposes that were outlined. Alrighty, now the exciting part is actually in section, 1106. 
And 1106 is about loan forgiveness. And this is what makes it so exciting and so different. Because if you keep yourself and your employees on your payroll using this loan for the eight week period and have that documented, you can get that loan forgiven completely, which turns actually into a grant, which is basically free money that you have access to from your federal government that can help you and your employees get past the next eight weeks. All right, now, the longer you wait, and if you don't have your paperwork prepared and you don't have your records to go into the bank in time, you can always get it started, but, but, if, but the maximum of eight weeks, you will have to have started your loan 30 days from now. Okay, so what I'm recommending to you already is that you begin preparing your re uh, records, what is your average actual payroll, and then you'll be able to be prepared to walk into your bank with those records and ask for those special loans that'll en end up eventually becoming a grant. So again, this is the first edition already of the daily ICA news update. And in summary, we have an opportunity, or you do, to keep your staff and yourself on your payroll for the next eight weeks using money that you won't have to repay. And I think that is probably the most exciting thing uh, that has come out of that special bill. Uh, and I wanted you to make sure that every ICA chiropractor and every chiropractor in the United States is aware that that opportunity is right in front of us and for you uh, to take advantage of. And with that, I'd like to thank everyone uh, around the world, okay, for uh, tuning in, uh, for uh, recognizing the fact that the ICA has created some resource pages in order to provide accurate information uh, during this times of stress. Alrighty, and anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with some more updated information and what the latest news is, and we'll all get through this together. Thank you very much.